Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. Well, today I'm taking a look at this new feature of Lightroom CC or Lightroom CC Classic called Enhance Details. This came out in the 8.2 version. If you're a Lightroom subscriber, you've got this. And the question is, is this feature worth it? Do you want to go through the effort of using this or not effort? That's a strong word. It's not that difficult. Let me show you how it works, what it kind of does. And uh, then we'll look at some examples here to see if it makes sense. So um, let me just pick this first photo here. These are all raw files. Uh, that's the first thing. This only works on raw files. And I think it's best to do this uh, detail enhancement. It's one of the very first things you do. Don't do any processing on the raw file and then enhance details. Do that first. And you can take a look at it. You get the preview. You go to the photo menu and there is this new thing called enhance details. And we'll click on that brings up a preview of a zoomed in area of the photo that you're looking at. And so I'm guessing it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 400% zoomed in. This is for people that really want to pay attention to the pixels. And if you're one of those folks, that's great. This may be the tool for you. Uh, I will click on this small magnifying glass. So you can see here's the whole photo. And if you click on an area, it will zoom in and this is showing the enhanced view right by this thing here if i click and hold down it says without the enhancement i let go that's enhanced without with and yeah i'm seeing little bits of change here but for this particular photo not particularly interesting this just isn't doing it now granted it's a foggy scene out here right i mean look at this thing this is it's a lot of fog and mist and while there's details in those trees they're not really gonna come through. So for this photo, I wouldn't bother with doing an enhanced details. Let's take a look at another one though that I think does have merit. So this is a, a nighttime scene. And um, as I zoom in, this is just in the normal preview. You know, there's going to be lots of details in this architecture. And in particular, I want you to take a look at this, this dome out here. Uh, this is an area that I've found the enhanced details is very good for. So let's go to that photo menu again and we'll grab enhance details. All right, this is zoomed in. Let's zoom out and I want to focus on that uh, cathedral top back there. All right, let me reposition. We can click and drag around in this window. I don't know if I can resize the window. No, I cannot. So this is the enhanced view. I'm going to press and hold the mouse down. This is without the enhance. With, without. Pay attention to this area right here. There is a marked improvement without, with. Now, is it dramatic and drastic? No, but it is an improvement. And so for patterns that are repeating and small details, I found that this is a worthwhile tool. There's another area in this photo where you can see some of the difference is in like these starburst or distant lights. Let's zoom in over here. And what we end up with is this kind of artifacting of the, uh, the different types of colors and so forth that happen. I'm going to press and hold without the enhance. With. This one is a lot more subtle, but nevertheless, there is a difference and it's an improvement. But based on the architecture alone, I would choose to apply this enhanced details for that type of scene. What about other scenes? Well, I thought, hey, what about an infrared photo? Is there any improvements here? Well, I'll save you the trouble. No, really not. I didn't see anything uh, with that. Now, granted, this is from a Sony camera, so a Sony sensor has a Bayer pattern. I've seen other videos on this this uh, feature with Fuji X-Trans sensors. If you're a Fuji uh, shooter, take a look at this feature because there was a notable improvement for Fuji RAW files. What about uh, a scene where you've got a strong contrast line? So this is where we'd, we'd often get halos. We start pushing contrast too far. We'd end up with halos along these ridge lines. What does photo or enhance details do for us there? We'll zoom out and then zoom in around that ridge line. I'll take a look at that. That's with the enhancement. Without. With. Without. Kind of seeing a shift, but not really seeing much of a difference. So probably wouldn't apply it. Last one here was uh, an ocean scene. And I've got, you know, detailed rocks for sure. I've got another one of those ridge lines in the sky. I've got some trees out here. Let's see what we get with enhanced details, if there's any improvement. 
So let's zip around some of these rocks here with the enhancement, without, with, without. Not really seeing it. There's really no artifacting there. And you know, that's kind of really the key uh, theme that I've noticed with enhanced details is when you have an area that might get some artifacting around it. Think like uh, leaves with the sky behind it where there's always like if you were ever trying to mask away a boring sky and you'd see some some sort of artifacts in you know the, the pixelation type of things that's where you're going to see improvements this is without the enhancement this is with without with very slight change there um so all in all you know, not uh not for every photo now i have gone through the uh, i should point out this I have gone through and, and done the enhanced details. Each one of these will give you an estimate of how long it thinks it will take to process one of the photos, right? So this is saying, oh, okay, eight seconds to go process this. I've done all of these. You can actually do a batch of them. If you select all of the photos that you want to enhance and then choose enhanced details, you'll be popped up and says, hey, I'm gonna do these five photos. Do you wanna see them all? It's gonna you know, take a little bit of time. It'll put it in the background just like it does with other things. And so I've done that already and created the DNGs, which is the output from a enhanced photo. And you can notice, here's the name of my, my file. Let's do it this way. It will take the name and stick enhanced at the back and create a DNG file. So that's another thing to be aware of. It's going to create another raw file. Now, if you like the uh, DNG and you like the enhancements, I suppose you could get rid of your original raw. Uh, but otherwise, you're hanging on to two files. So let's take a look at this photo here where I had these two photos. Um, I want to make sure that I get the enhanced one as my select. That's my most selected. Great. Let's go in the compare view. Okay. We'll uh, zoom in here and let's zoom in over on that cathedral. And let's go even farther. Let's go two to one, four to one. Let's get in there really tight, okay? And we'll zoom over, okay? So this is enhanced, and this is not. It's actually pretty difficult to see the difference at even four to one. Let's zoom in, eight to one. Now I'm starting to see a little more of a delta. This is just a bit crisper, these brighter patches and darker patches. There's a good balance among them. Gets a little muddy in here on the unenhanced photo. So this is the type of detail that you're going to see improvement with photo enhanced details. Is it worth it? Is it worth using the feature? I think for select photos, it is. If you're printing really big and big, I'm thinking you know, 20 by 30, 24 by 36, something larger than that. This will uh, help and maintain those details. But otherwise, I don't know if I'll be putting uh, many of my photos through this. And uh, it's cool that the feature's there, but it's not for every photographer. And for me, I'm probably not one of the folks that will be using this heavily. Again, if you're a Fuji shooter, go check this out. The photos I tested here are from a, a Nikon D7200, a Sony A7R, and a Sony A7R II. Those modest differences based on the subject matter. But if you're a Fuji shooter, and the videos I've seen, there's some significant improvements, especially in some of the earlier Fuji, like the X-T1s. So that is Enhanced Details in Lightroom. If you're a CC subscriber, it's new, it's free, you're gonna have it there anyway, and now you understand what it's good for, what maybe it's not so good for, and you can decide whether or not you want to use it for your own photos. My name's Scott Davenport, thanks for watching.